have you ever tried making an active pad like this at your home under 2000 rupees or 3000 rupees only but don't know where to start and how to build this active pad come let's learn how to make this active pad in this video so to build uh, an octopad like this we need to uh, build some circuit to connect pieces to the arduino board so this is the circuit diagram this is the circuit diagram we need uh, to build an octopad so then so actually this is the octopad so now I will show you some so let me open device manager So this is the device manager and we need a, a flip tool from Atmel. So a lot of, a lot of uh, TCP IP programs are running background that's why my PC is hanging. So let me search for uh, flip tool, flip tool. This is the Atmel flip. We need to okay. This is the flip tool. This is the flip tool. Now you can check that uh, the device manager doesn't does not having any. Uh, lib32 devices or midi devices you can find that uh, uh, this pc does not connected any midi devices or any uh, intel devices now to make a connection let me show you the inside of this pad you can see that uh, this is the piezo this is the piezo and you can find two pins here this is the reset and ground pins here so we need to short these two pins okay mm. let me connect with uh, laptop you can find here the port and connecting this and yes now you can see that uh, the device manager the sound and sound video and game controllers is added a device Arduino MIDI so this is the device which is connected to the laptop named Arduino MIDI. Now, you can see that. And let me show you how to connect uh, or how this device is connected or displayed in the mobile phone. So, now I am connecting this uh, OTG cable and connecting to my mobile phone you can see the mobile phone screen here right let me connect to you yes you can find my mobile phone here I have connected 
let me open gstorm per you can see my display on this time opening gstorm per you can find that my name do you want to use the midi device mad labs octopad by anand with gstorm per studio just press okay okay now this device is connected with uh, this mobile phone now we can hear the sounds let me wait let me just wait you can he here he can hear you can listen the sound you can hear this also so i have a lot of uh, patches having in this g stomper Uh, let me show you different patches here click on the pattern set you can see the pattern set you can see all these uh, 16 boxes are having 16 kits you can see uh, you can see for the next time for the next video i will connect uh, a amplifier to provide best quality of audio so as this is a checking testing video just i connected only mobile phone i did not connected any amplifier so for the next video i will connect direct audio source to the video then you can hear the maximum quality of sound of this octopad right hope you got the point uh, now uh, i am showing you how to program this arduino board with uh, flip tool okay uh, let me close this now you can see that mel flip and this is the device manager is showing up let me connect arduino midi as midi device i am connecting now you can see that uh, the device manager is refreshed and it come up with a midi device named arduino midi right now i am shorting these two pins you can see the two pins the reset and ground here now we are targeting this is small ic this small driver this is this is actually uh, internally having a uh, midi driver and now i am connecting to those these two pins i am shorting these two pins you can see that uh, the device manager is refreshed again and we found a new device called at mega 16 u2 okay now we can program this uh, at mega 16 u2 device with the atmel flip tool right go to file load uh, hex file here is the hex file mad labs octopad click okay now click on this usb icon click on usb click on open now you can see that uh, these two rx and tx leds 
are glowing and we can hit run to flash the midi firmware into atmega 16 u2 just i click run you can see that uh, arise program verify are passed and this is showing a message verify pass okay now we need to disconnect this uh, board and reconnect again you can see that uh, atmega 16 u2 device has disappeared and showing up as arduino midi under sound video and game controllers uh, like this we we can flash atmega 16 u2 with the serial and midi firmwares to change the behavior of this pad right hope you got the point uh, this video is all about how to uh, up upgrade the firmware of this uh, atmega 16 u2 device you can see the connections of uh, uh, piezos with arduino mega so this is the entire pad you can see the back side i have used some plywood board and pvc t joint as a stand so this this is the overview of the pad and i'm reconnecting i'm closing this back you can see that right so hope you got the point friends uh, still if you have any doubts please comment your doubts and uh, if you found this video is helpful please like this video and share with your friends who are looking for uh, making or building or uh, trying to learn about uh, building octopad okay so this is the video for all today uh, okay See you in the next video. Bye.